guys, it's Francesca here and welcome to the Fusion Beats Dance Channel. So I've got here some special dancers all the way from the US and we have Bhangra Funk. So we have Shivani and Chaya, they've come down to Adelaide, in particular we're down at Glenelg Beach which is amazingly hot but really nice, like it's beautiful, it's crystal, I would say white and blue at the moment. So welcome guys Thank to you. Um, my hometown pretty much and I've got here um, Come in, come in. I'm Sunaina in. from desiadelaide.com.au. So the two LA, of us, as well you? as Del G, have brought the girls down here to do a special um, Bhangra Funk workshop. So I guess um, I just want to keep this really casual and it was more to get um, your insights, especially as a, uh, a YouTuber myself, trying to get out there and do uh, workshops. Um, I guess how you guys started um, and where you guys are heading in regards to like how did how did Bungra Funk come about? Who okay, wants to go? Sorry, I have like <laughs> flies, <laughs> flies. <laughs> um, so uh, Chai and I met uh, over a year ago, and we started uh, classes in LA. Yep. And um, we started with Bungra Funk, and it slowly evolved to Bali Funk. Six months later, so and now we are uh, traveling and teaching and sharing our uh, B funk culture with everybody as well, as many people as we can. So we're super excited to be in Australia today and um, first time here for both of us. So we're yeah. really excited. In the process of like revamping and reorganizing for the 2018 year, um, excited to see what it has in store. Um, we've been really fortunate to kind of use this year as a trial and error to see you know what's worked and um, these classes kind of uh, evolved with time and um, it's become uh, something that we didn't it was really unexpected what it yeah. evolved into and what it turned into um, and it's just become something where it's just it's more than dance it's been transcendent dance has been we've been using it as a medium to uh, talk about messaging in terms of women empowerment in terms of um, self-conditioning and um, support and love and, and emulating that in our communities and um, from community to community um, and it's kind of what we discuss in class and so we're hoping to kind of take that messaging and do something a little bit different with it next year so we're really excited. So it's really important to always keep on top of like rebranding looking at what's happening because yeah. I noticed that YouTube is it's evolving extremely fast um, from what it started uh, like even a year ago when I used to just watch YouTube channels and there was just dance covers now more groups have emerged more people are getting influenced by other dancers and doing the same thing so yeah dance has really become uh, has come to the forefront nowadays and because of social media Instagram YouTube Facebook uh, Twitter all these different platforms um, dance has been given like a second life and a second wind um, and this time the proper yep. you know with the proper prestige yeah. and backing that it needs so uh, what would you say to anyone wanting to go ahead and you know create YouTube videos or their dances or go on and do dance workshops but are a bit hesitant like thinking that you know it might be saturated there might not be any opportunities out there I think um, it's important to remember and it's really easier said than done but um, social media is kind of like double-edged in that sense yep. of like it can have a lot of negative feedback but then it can really encourage you as well so I would take it for what it is and take the positives and just run with it um, it's great because technology is closing that gap between people right so we're able to uh, communicate with people across the world and share content and feed off of each other's energy across the world so that's why social media is great um, for anybody that's starting a new YouTube channel I would definitely say to just be fearless unapologetic and um, be confident in your work yep. and um, yeah and don't be afraid to share it with anybody and not everybody yeah. has to love it um, but Absolutely. yeah definitely just as long as you reach people that really like well yeah now that everything's style. kind of at our fingertips it's one of these things where a lot of people they come in they go into social media or they go into um, in whatever vocation that they're hoping to pursue with a specific vision, but then um, they're easily influenced by what they see online and they think, oh, if that was successful, then oh, I should be more like this or I should do more yeah. like that, yeah. etc. And I think it's knowing that everyone has their own niche and everyone has their own place. And so, um, <laughs> you're the fly yeah, loves yeah. you. <laughs> uh, so, like, everyone has their own place, you know, and it's just one of these things where it's like, if you know that you love it and if you feel like you have a voice or if you feel like you have, you know, a particular vested interest in something, then 
you know, we always say go for it. Mm -hmm. um, and if you love it and you do it with a lot of passion and a lot yep. of love, then everybody will fall in love with yeah. it and fall in love with you. So, awesome. Cool. It's yeah. not about the views, it's not about the likes, it's not about the subscribers, it's just about you sharing your work. Um, I do have some fun questions now. Um, <laughs> All right, these are just going to be fun ones, okay? What is your favorite colors, okay? Oh my Color. gosh. Well, <laughs> I know, you probably haven't been asked this one. You know what, I don't... I think we rotate yeah. different favorites. So but what would be right, your favorite? So it's so crazy because Point before, growing up, it was always purple. Mm -hmm. My room at home is still purple. Like my mom asked me to design my room when I was 12. So it's like, like why did she ask me when I was 12? <laughs> like, so it's now purple? That's like, yeah, it's, it's, now it's purple forever. Um, but right now it's actually black. Oh, okay. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. No, I'm not That's a perfect. When, when we're in doubt, just wear black. Yeah. Okay. Right now it's actually yeah, we black. Got it. Yeah. You know, it's so funny. My mom did the same thing, and my my room's lime green. Really? Oh, my <laughs> room. So nice and bright. It was lime green. I had, green. Like, I had like I had like zebra print uh, bedspread, <laughs> and then I had like orange and pink throw The color clothes. combos for you. Yeah. yeah. No, now <laughs> I think, citrus colors. I think I'm more in the purple mauve, like that family. No, yeah. That. Mauve is yeah. definitely my go-to yeah. color now. Yeah. Cool. All right. Um, and what are your favorite food? What food do you love to eat? Oh, sorry. That so, you could eat forever and not get sick of it. <laughs> okay, this is, yeah. I mean, I have a weird obsession with pizza, so. Uh, <gasps> my girl. Say pizza is my favorite, like, I mean, I could food. just always eat pizza. But other than that, I really love, I, maybe right now I just miss my mom, so I would say my mom's food. Oh. <laughs> but uh, I like Spanish tapas restaurants, I like Mexican, I like Indian, so yep. anything yeah. really spicy and flavorful. Yeah. But pizza's always the go-to food. Pizza's, yeah. That's I totally try to understand, understand that. With a lot of jalapenos and crushed red peppers. Okay, without ah. the chilies for me, though. Yeah. <laughs> As they found out, I'm a no chili person. So, yes. <laughs> Cuisine, I don't know. I don't think I have anything in particular. I'm, I'm pretty easy on that. But I have um, a terrible weak spot for uh, chips. I love chips. Ah. I'm a chip girl. So. Yep. 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 Once you oh. stop. Mm -hmm. I don't ever stop. <laughs> <laughs> oh, where's the chip bag? <laughs> I was going to have some chips so we can snack on too. So. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh, and not either. fries chips because I know that fr chips no. are fries here. Yeah. So crisps. Crisps? Yeah, we, yeah, we even the call them chips like, as well. No, chips we just like chips. Chips. Okay, yeah, everything's chips really for us. But I can do fries too, so um, that's why. Um, yeah. yeah. <laughs> and um, I guess you guys have known each other for a year now. So I actually thought they'd known each other like way back then. I think most people think you guys have been like school. School friends. Yeah, someone had a chemistry show. Um, actually. Yeah, someone yesterday was like, you guys are sisters, right? And I was like, no, actually, we're not. <laughs> yeah. We've jam-packed like 10 years of time and into like a the year one. And yeah. So and out yeah. of that year, I guess, what are the favorite things you love about each other and what are the things you <laughs> cannot stand about each other? <laughs> oh, God. <laughs> no one so what do you love? What do you love about each other? I'll okay. start. I'll oh. start. Uh, <laughs> She's going to think. Uh, <laughs> I already know what you're gonna say for the hate. <laughs> That's okay, you can say, you can say. Um, I, I, oh, Chaya is like an all around artist. So I love that she never settles for things because, yep. um, yeah, she, it's just really inspiring to see because she just pushes herself and pushes her mind. And sometimes I'm just like, it's great, let's do it. And she's like, no, not good enough, not good enough. So she's an all around artist, painter, drawer, singer, wow, like director, awesome. singer. Uh, you name we'll it, she editor. It. <laughs> you name it, she can do it. Built so, some chains out. <laughs> um, yeah, love that. She never settles. And so love that. And then um, love her passion for other people. Yep. Um, oh, she's going to cry. Now, so maybe. something I don't like. <laughs> Huh. Uh oh. I'm scared. Um, something I don't like. Oh my gosh. Uh, is it hard? Oh, it's so scary. That's so hard. <laughs> we can go with the favorite. And then yeah, go with the favorite. Okay. okay. Um, you know, I've never met anyone as with as much drive and like relentless fear as Shivani has. Because I think for me, um, like I told you, I think earlier today that, you know, um, initially when she wanted to start classes, I wasn't so sure about, I hadn't been dancing for some time at that yep. point, and I wasn't so sure about being on film and what I felt about that. And um, she was like, no, you have to do it. If you don't do it, I'm not going to do it. And she's always pushed me um, to live outside of my comfort zone. And this girl, like, seriously just gets up in the morning and goes and works out, and she's on her nutrition, and she's just, you know, she's going to dance classes, she's always furthering her education, she's she's seriously a go-getter, and um, she's pushed me uh, so much in so many different ways, and when it comes to health, when it comes to um, learning, everything, and, um, and she just has this 
amazing sense of like, you know, what's there to be afraid of? Why don't you just try it? So um, I'm forever grateful. For awesome. That. Yeah. yeah. I, I think I know now. Okay. So one thing. <laughs> <laughs> you just said the part you you made it. It. <laughs> Okay. One thing I don't like is that um, so she has a TV in her room, and it is the same freaking six movies that are on all the time. Wake up, Miss Congeniality. It's just oh, always Miss Congeniality. Always, 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 but okay, you know always what? in the back. I, I have to. Okay, I, I'm guilty of this. I have to have oh, noise, yeah. music, yep. or uh, TV at all times. I cannot. I can't stand silence. It doesn't stimulate me. Yep. yep. And so I just like my feel-good movies in the background. <laughs> <laughs> it's the same six movies over and over again, and then it's um. I mean, I don't. It's not, it's don't give it away. I, don't tell everybody. <laughs> She also has an insane obsession with 90s Bollywood music, which yeah. has like, nice. I don't know, I a lot nice. of, really not a lot like of that, us too. Like have sometimes that? it's, yeah, a lot, it's growing but, on her. So, yeah, uh, yeah. so that, that's one thing you could move on. From Pop the music. Six movies. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Another six movies. Exactly. Uh, you know, I, <laughs> <laughs> so, I already know. She knows. Okay. Okay. Mine's so frivolous, but it's one of these things that, like, like I said, she's a nutrition minor. She was a mm -hmm. nutrition minor, right? So she's very, you know, steadfast about what she puts in her body and she drinks a lot of water but she gulps <laughs> so loud in order to drink it all she, I don't know, she just she just like swells like she fills her mouth and like it's like a swell <laughs> Gulp, gulp, gulp. And We're like, gonna be I, watching you. I now. swear, like oh. she could be standing like a hundred feet away and I could hear these gulps and she knows <laughs> she knows I hate it. She knows I hate it. Yeah, so, definitely yeah. gulping. So problems that we can live with. Yeah. Uh, so you're yeah, a nutritionist, ma uh, you studied I, nutrition. I did yeah, I did biology and nutrition in school, but oh, cool. yeah. That's nice. Yeah, nice. Go for it. It's just fun being here with you ladies. You guys so, are amazing. So nice. Yeah. It's, um, it's and great. honestly, how long it's it feels like we've been talking all day and uh -huh. you know we just want to know more and more about each other we wish like, they were here earlier we would have taken to see kangaroos and koalas That's it. Yeah. ladies known for our wineries yeah. so wineries yeah. would have been so a big all hit all those things speak to her so. uh, yeah. 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 seven degrees at the moment and it's so we hope you guys do come back yeah, and maybe spend longer a longer time here but yes. we do look forward to seeing them tonight we're doing a bungra funk workshop which is why my video is really i haven't uploaded anything as yet so i'm on a bit of a break there um but i'll be back next week with more videos but also highlights of what we've been doing and keeping it a surprise for now so stay tuned on fusion beats we've got desiadelaide.com and also b funk they've got their instagram insta stories which you should follow them as well um and their youtube as well so we'll We'll catch you guys later and thank you so much thank guys. You. Thank you. Thank you. Hi guys, hope you enjoyed that and don't forget to like and subscribe as well to our channel. We have new dance covers, new tutorials every Tuesday and Wednesday. Also, don't forget, we now have Fusion Beats t-shirts and singlets. So don't forget to go on to fusionbeats.com.au and check out the merchandise, check out the news as well as tips and photos and more.